Okay, we've set up a different configuration here, just a different way to set up the vitrograph. It's just four bar stools, a couple of two by fours, and two steel pipes just to suspend the kiln. Uh, this is a large pot with a three quarter inch diameter hole, so we're getting a pretty large size lump of melts. We're just dropping it onto a piece of ceramic or cement board. Uh, it could be a piece of sheet steel, anything that will allow the uh, molten glass to not melt the table. And I want to get a whole bunch of these great fat chubby bits. Really looking forward to making a bunch of special projects with these. Got a really nice steady stream coming down here. I want to produce a, a whole lot of just wild twisted shapes so I can just steadily pour it down. I mean, you can see the size of this melt here coming down that if I wanted I could very easily produce thicker glass rods. It's easy to control the diameter by uh, just varying the size of the hole. Once it starts to get into a full pour, you can see here that uh, I get rod size versus stringer size and as it picks up it gets thinner. Nice big pile of stuff. Uh, all kinds of really interesting character shapes and a bunch of these fat chubby bits that I love so much. I've got all kinds of really great ideas. This particular melt, I didn't want any, any stringers or any rods. I love the way it just dropped and piled up. I've got all of these wild twists and curls to make uh, more bowls or other interesting projects. I like this idea so much I think I'll do it again.